Have you seen this painting? This is Michelangelo's famous masterpiece, The Last Judgment. Depicted are over 300 souls of mostly men and angels ascending to their fate in the afterlife. While this painting was originally, this painting originally depicted um, all these figures as nude, but after many proponents of the Catholic faith de uh, deemed this painting a painting for public baths and taverns, Michelangelo, and later on after his death, painter Daniel de Volterra, worked to cover up these paintings with, cover up these bodies with snakes and draperies. This is a crude form of censorship that does not allow for the original idea of Michelangelo to express his ideas. Today, in this speech, we are going to talk about the historical, the social, emotional, and the moral reasons why art should not be censored. While some believe that art should be censored if it depicts racist, political, sexual, uh, sex, sexist, or other ideas that could spark controversy or protest, it's obvious that art gives off so much information that would otherwise be covered up by censorship, literally or figuratively. There are many works like Michelangelo's that have been covered up and censored that ruins the historical meaning of them. According to the National Coalition Against Censorship, Dana Schutz's painting entitled Open Casket depicts an abstract version of Emmett Till's famous and grotesque face at his open, fun open casket funeral. Schutz painted this, painted this work because she wanted to bring attention to the then recent incidents of police brutality against black people in her community. Many thought, that the, many thought this was controversial, however, because she was a white woman and they thought a white woman making money off of a black man's death and making art out of a black man's death was cultural appropriation. This is not cultural appropriation, however, and does not deserve to be censored because it would go against maybe Till Mobley, Emmett Till's mother, her wishes. She chose to have an open casket funeral for Emmett because she wanted the world to see what they did to my boy. Censoring this painting would go against what she wanted and would cover up the, true, the truth behind Emmett Till's death. Art is created to colorfully express emotion or cause emotion. Artsacat.net explains how in order to how in order for emotions to move freely, we must accept and express them. Doing so enlivens our creativity. Many works of art that have been created to, to express such emotions have been censored just because they've been judged instead of considered. Have you ever left the movie theater? Have you ever left the movie theater watching a movie in tears? We're going to use the Titanic as an example. In the end, Jack is seen sinking into the freezing cold Atlantic Ocean to allow Rose to live. This is a classic example of emotional expression in art. Now, let's say that this part was censored because it was deemed too gruesome for the viewers and that there would be too much of a negative impact. How would the movie go without its climax? Art becomes dull when it's censored. And and it creates difficulties to express the original ideas of the artists. The First Amendment of the United States Constitution allows for the freedom of speech. This applies to not only spoken and written words, but also art. However, mtsu.edu explains how art is under much less protection than spoken or written words, especially if it's created to, uh, for a commercial purpose or not to express or cause an emotion. works that are indecent, offend the rights or morals or others of others, or are considered defamatory, are allowed to be censored without going against the First Amendment. Now the question here is though, how do we define inde indecent or defamatory? There have been court cases like Federal Communications Commission versus Pacifica Foundation that have determined when an indecent piece of art can be televised or used on a radio broadcast, but it does not determine indecent. In, on a more recent note, there have been there have been many protests where they, people throw food at various paintings and express why if either art or life is greater. While this is on its own is a very is an interesting form of protest, it doesn't bring enough attention to the moral damage that is done to these paintings. This form of protest doesn't consider the hard work time and money that these artists went through to create such paintings.
let's say you just did all the dishes in your house and it took you an hour. And now your, your sibling comes along and dirties all of them just because they didn't like the way they looked at the end. This is the same thing, but with real time and real money. Censorship does not consider the moral values of the artists or the artwork. Art censorship is one of the largest problems in the art community. It, artists' works have been reprimanded for, for expressing their emotions or protesting. This has been a problem not only in the United States, but worldwide. In this speech, we have gone over the historical, social, emotional, and moral reasons why art should not be censored. Thank you all for listening on this speech and why art, like Michelangelo's, should be seen.